in my 20s, four or five of us guys went from church to church to try to find a Christian woman or a Christian girlfriend. We had decent jobs and we felt we were handsome looking young brothers. So we didn't think it would be difficult to go find a nice Christian girl. We all wanted to, and especially my friends, were looking forward to being Christian leaders and great Bible teachers and stuff like that. Now my friends, they married very nice looking women with nice careers but these guys lost their zeal for God. The reason is they married women who were blase blase about being a Christian, but they were very nice, very nice looking and very manable and, and professional. But these guys left their first idea when we were growing up because they married basically unbelieving women that they thought, my friends thought they could convert these girls did not have the same zeal as they had. So men should marry Christian women, but why is it that they don't like to marry them? Why Christian men don't like Christian women? Now I heard women complain about the very same thing, so it goes both ways. So here we go. Here's the first reason, and the reason that should be the most important, but usually is not. The third reason is gonna be the, very, the most important at the age of 20. So. The first reason should be the most important one again is that they went, the women we met seemed, they didn't seem to understand scriptures at all. They knew the basic stories, but they didn't even know what scriptures to point to when they wanted to help somebody get saved or born again. Another big turnoff is when we, uh, when the, the girls would always say, well, my preacher said, I'm like, well, what do you understand? Another good reason, ladies, to, if you're going to do the thing to be real about it is because you can run off the bums if you can show scriptures. If you can show scriptures, you run off the bum. No matter how nice looking they are, it'll cut through. So that was, should have been the number one reason, but it wasn't because we're young men. <laughs> we were number two, and I, I hate to mention this one, but I'm going to because I want to be honest. We were glad to see the women come to God, but... They waited until it seemed that right in our 20s, they waited until they ruined their lives, it seemed. They fought cigarettes and drugs. They even had more than one kid, two or three. Now, I really is no fault of theirs for whatever reason. I'm not actually judging them, but we were guys who did not have those problems, so we thought it was fair. And it just seems like they waited until their life came to almost an end before they decided to come to God. Well. We thought those type of women would be good later in our lives because we imagined we would be there too, you know, kids and everything. So I don't want women to be discouraged, but at that young age, we were, that was not something we wanted to do. We wanted to have our own families and not be concerned if this, some man always visiting his kid, which, which would be my wife. I don't, uh, that's not what we wanted to do at the age in our 20s. Okay. The third and the thing that got us the most, now I'm in the Midwest, when we went to these churches, I'd like for you to get your Bibles and go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Let's let the scriptures speak on this issue because here it goes. The thing that upset us the most, now I've heard women complain about men in the same area. Here we go. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. For bodily exercise profited little. But godliness, godliness is profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So people miss this verse because in 1 Timothy 4, 8 again, it says, For bodily, bodily exercise profited little. What does little mean? Well, you have a short time here versus eternal life. Your eternal life is quite long. Well, it's forever. This life ends. So this is... The life now is short compared to eternal life. Now read the verse again and it'll snap. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. In other words, don't put God second trying to fix your body. <laughs> but godliness is profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life that now is and of that which to come. So no matter what you do, if you keep focused on the next life, which is your longest life, whether you do any exercise or not, you still come out good. But for right now, don't pretend guys don't have eyes. 
I just don't understand that. We're going to fight this weight problem as we get older anyway. But we just didn't want to get started that way, not at 20. Now, being out of shape, it's hard to enjoy a spouse. Uh, you have swimsuit problems, you swimming, you got hiking and playing recreational sports. You got volleyball, bike riding, walking. You want to do all this kind of stuff. So, take this from an older guy that it's much more fun to not to have all the stuff so that you can enjoy your spouse doing simple things. And with exercise, ladies are avoiding hard menopause. Where I work out, the ladies come in with no makeup and caps on and have their hair all tied up, but guess what? Those guys talk to them anyway because they're looking down the road. She's willing to do this without pushing a lot of effort. So they feel like they're gonna have a lot of fun with her. Why don't you ladies buy less than the car you can afford? So you can afford a nice fitness center. You might feel good about the things you own. I know how it is, it makes you feel better. But the nice guys don't care if you live in a closet and buy all your clothes from a thrift store, as long as you're clean and in shape. Cheap clothes look good on a girl in shape. If you wanna meet wealthy guys, join an expensive health club. See? So save a little more, join an expensive health club, keep your Christian life going, and you'll meet wealthier guys and learn different cultures. Don't let culture stop you in this day and time. You want to meet Christian guys? Well, go to some of these universities or college uh, uh, colleges that teach the Bible and just take a class or two just one or two and just to, for social reasons you're supposed to meet new people and everything right so enjoy doing that the, the food we eat is just too bad we must exercise for health we just have to do it I still try to do it I got a little here but I'm still a little pointed to my belly there and I told my daughters growing up brush your teeth and work out for the rest of your life. This is true stuff. Didn't cover on anything. So, number one, learn some scriptures about what you say you believe and stay out of all this trouble. Don't paint yourself with a bunch of tattoos. I understand one or two, don't paint yourself. You can't recover from that hardly. Uh, and uh, stay in shape, a certain disciple.